keep this kind of short because the devil was trying to have a field day with my body, but he's alive and truth came in him. Mm. He thought he was going to keep me from coming to church today, but as you see, he has no truth in him. Amen. Greater the he that is in me, that is in the world. And neither we're going to stand upon his promise, his truth, his word, or we're not. Amen. If you have arrived there, signified by saying, it is written. It is written. And it reads as this, having what? Eyes. See ye what? Not. And having ears? Hear ye what? Not. And do ye what? Not. Never. You may be seated. Here the Lord is trying to make things very clear to us. Even though he was speaking to those at that time, because so many of them seen the miracles that he had done, but yet not believe. Come on now, say that. All so right. often he had to question the disciples and Come say, "Have you not seen?" Come on now. All right. The the most profound statement he made to them was one day when he said, "You walk with me, you Come talk on. with me, you yes. eat with me, and yet yes. you know me not." Now, can you understand how hard it was for Jesus to deal with this? Come on now. You know, here they are looking and seeing and experiencing That's all it. these miracles that he is doing and has done, and yet they have questions. Amen? Amen. And here he's saying, have you eyes? Can you see not? Have you ears and you hear not? See, sometimes we, we need to understand what that really means. And this is why the Lord is giving this verse to me. Because so often our pastor will preach and teach the word. And yet we hear what? Nothing. Now, I, I say so often. And, and Sister Flo will, will, will let you know it is my favorite thing. You heard me, but you wasn't listening to me. There's a difference in hearing and listening. You know, we, we have our old saying, it goes in one ear and comes out the other. And so often it don't even go into one ear. Let alone trying to come out the other. But we need to understand that today we need to give more attention to the word of God when it is being taught and when it's being preached. Because so often we let our blessings get past us, our protection get past us, our blessings get past us simply Thank because you. we did not pay attention to the word. You know, I, I, I call it a cold. And if you don't remember the cold, you can't break into the blessing. What is the cold? Anybody know the cold? No. The cold is your faith. That will lock everything for you. Regardless of the circumstances and the things that are going on around you, are you hearing me today? Amen. Regardless of what's going on in your body, regardless of what's going on in the world, no matter what your circumstances may be in your home, if you have the key, you can unlock those doors. If you have the key, you can get through those doors. You know, I mean, sometimes we say, I don't know what's going on, and it seems like no matter what I do and what I say and how hard I pray, it's just not, just not coming through. It's not coming through because you didn't use the key to unlock that door to get through. Today I'm saying, use the key today. You are hearing the words today. I hope you're listening to the words today. Just as you see me, you should see the words in you. How can I say that again? Just as you see me, you should be able to see the words in you. Because I'm giving you the key to all your blessings. I'm giving you the avenue to get through your trials and your tribulations. I'm, I'm giving you the key that will build the bridge over troubled water. Do you hear what I'm saying here, church? That's what I need you to hear. You know, 
sometimes we need to understand we cannot fight this battle by ourselves. And sometimes we get into battles that ain't even ours to fight. We got to know when to hold them. We got to know when to fold them. And I'm not going to ever tell you to run away. What you do is you give them out to the Lord. He said, you stand still and he will fight your battle. Amen. Do you believe? Yes. Do you have faith? Yes. Did you hear me today? Yes. Did I show up today? Yes. In spite of what the devil tried to do? Yes. He tried to get you. No, I almost yes. stayed at the bank. I wanted to stay at the bank until oh, moment. Thanks. You have no idea the thoughts that went through my mind. I put $4,000 in the bank because I had to wire it out first thing in the morning. And the bank took my card and my money. It didn't give me neither one back. Part of me wanted to sit right there because if that money don't get where it's supposed to get tomorrow, I'll be in trouble. Bad trouble. But you know he's alive. And the truth ain't it. I'm standing on his promise. I'm standing on his word. I have faith. And even though my car would not unlock that machine, my faith has already unlocked it. Are y'all hearing me today? You see, I'm here. I'm not sitting there waiting on the bank to open because I have faith in God. Amen. Amen. I have faith in God, not right in the sheep. See, that's one thing y'all need to stop doing. Put faith in man and woman. Stop Amen. putting faith in technology and put more faith in God. Did y'all hear me today? Yes, yes. Do y'all see me today? Yes. And yet, I want you to remember what I said. So I want you to listen. Don't just hear me. Listen to the words that I say. For I speak the words of our Lord and Savior that will save you from all hurt, harm, and danger. That will save you from a restless night. That will save you from unhappy moments. Greater is he that's in me that's in the world. See, that's what I believe. You know, as I told Sister Flo, you know, it's going to be all right. I, I, I can't stand here and wait on my sheep. You know, I'm going to put my faith in God. And I'm going to go and give him some praise. And God is up. What my body is saying, I'm getting out of this bed this morning. Even though I stayed in the bed all day yesterday, I could not get up. You know, I thank God for Sister Flo being right there for me on every inch and every step. Man. Spasm was hitting me so bad, all I could do is cry out in pain and agony. But see, I began to remember something that was said that I heard because I was listening. Say that. Say that. And the word says, through his stripes. Yeah, oh, watch out. Am I hearing that? Yes. Am I hearing that? Yes. I'm here because I heard yes. his word. Yes. And I have faith. I trust in his word. You know, and there's a song that says, I will trust in the word. Lord. In the Lord. If you don't start trusting in the Lord, you're going to lose a lot of battles. If you don't start trusting in the Lord, you're going to have a whole lot of sleepless nights. If you don't start trusting in the Lord, your home going to be in the state of disaster. If you don't start trusting in the Lord, you're going to start letting the world come in and destroy you. I trust in him. Because everything else fails. But see, God did not serve, he ain't never failed. God I serve, he ain't never been late. That's the God that I serve. Yes, Lord. Someone challenged me over the weekend. And it was kind of funny because I said, oh, you ran into the right one today, baby. You got the right one. You want to fight? Let's fight. I don't run from a fight. I run to a fight. Why? Because I want to show them how powerful my God is. Say that, say that. You know, I, I want to show them what God yeah, can do that man cannot do. I want to show them that there's no fear in man, Amen. but there's a lot of fear in me and God. Yeah, yeah. That's what people need today. They need to fear God more than fear man. Say that. Man can't do no more to you than God and you. Then God and you, then God and you allow him to. Say that, say that. You know, until I think back to Job, when Satan came, God said, okay, you can do all this, but touch not his soul. He said, now if you drop the hedge from around him, see, we all got a hedge. Come on now. And see, a lot of times we pull our own heads down. How? By our actions, how? By our weak faith. Say that, say that. And allow the enemy to attack us. Come on now. Today, do you 
get permission. And he can get permission from two places. From up on high and from you. If he get permission from either one of them places, then he got you. Then he going to show in and show out. And you're going to want to know what happened. The happen is, the Lord didn't leave you. You left him. Amen. Today, hear my words. Believe in his word. Amen. Keep your faith strong. Unlock the door that he has put a big keyhole for you to stick in your little bitty faith. Yeah, and you know why I said that? Because it is a big keyhole. And even though you got a little bit of faith, he's told me that if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Let me see the hands of those who have ever seen a mustard seed. I, I need everybody to stand that's never seen a mustard seed. I want to help you out here. I, I need you to understand what a mustard seed is. How big a mustard seed is. That's not very big. Oh, get on back there. She want to give a lot of faith. <laughs> okay, here you go. That is a mustard seed. One little bitty seed grows a giant plant. Very big plant. That is a mustard seed. And it will grow a big plant. That plant grows bigger than you. It's a mustard seed. He said if you have a faith this size, you can move a mountain. If you have a faith this size, there's nothing you cannot conquer. If you have a faith, if you have faith just this size, you don't have to have a whole lot. He said if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. I want you to move the mountains that are in your life, that are in your way. I want you to speak into your life, into your world that's around your life, and tell it to move. Move. But you have to have some fertilizer with that seed. You got to have faith. You got to believe without doubt that when you speak, it will move out.